Welcome back to Linux Network. The KDE project has just released the latest version of KDE Frameworks version 6.6, which brings some exciting new features and improvements. KDE Frameworks is a collection of more than 70 libraries that add extra functionality to the KDE desktop environment and its applications. These libraries help KDE software run smoothly and efficiently, while also adding features that users rely on for a seamless desktop experience. KDE Frameworks is updated regularly to ensure that users have access to the latest tools and features. The release of version 6.6 is particularly notable because it introduces a key improvement – support for cross-desktop thumbnail generators. This may sound technical, but it's a big step forward making the KDE desktop even more powerful and user-friendly. But before diving into the details of KDE Frameworks is that 6, let's first explain what KDE is and why it matters to so many Linux users. KDE, short for the K Desktop Environment, is a popular desktop environment used by many Linux users. A desktop environment is basically the graphical interface that allows you to interact with your computer. If you're familiar with Windows or Mac OS, then you're used to using a desktop environment. It's what lets you open files, run applications and manage your system through a graphical interface. KDE is one of the most customizable and visual appealing desktop environments available for Linux, and it comes with a wide range of tools and applications designed to make your computing experience smooth and enjoyable. KDE's flashy desktop environment is called Plasma. It is highly flexible, meaning users can tweak and adjust almost every aspect of how it looks and works. KDE Plasma is known for being lightweight, fast and full of features that cater to both beginners and advanced users. One of the standout features of KDE Framework C.6 is the introduction of support for cross-desktop thumbnail generators. To understand why this is important, we need to break down what thumbnails are and why they matter. When you open a folder on your computer, you may see small previews of the files inside. These thumbnails gives you a quick glimpse of what a file looks like without having to open it. For example, if you have a folder full of pictures, you'll see tiny previews of the images instead of just a list of file names. This makes it easier to find what you're looking for. Many applications that create specific file types like 3D models or documents come with thumbnailers. These thumbnailers are small pieces of code that tell your computer how to generate these previews for specific file types. Until now, KDE's file manager, Dolphin, didn't support certain third-party thumbnail generators. That means users couldn't always see previews of some types of files like 3D models unless they used KDE-specific tools. KDE Framework 6.6 .6 changes that by adding support for the de facto standard thumbnail generators used in the other desktop environments like GNOME's Nautilus and XFC's Tuner. This is a significant improvement because it allows Dolphin to generate thumbnail for a wider range of files including 3D models files like STL, commonly used in 3D printing. This makes KDE File Manager more compatible with third-party applications, meaning you'll be able to see thumbnails for more file types without extra plugins or special setups. In addition to better thumbnail support, KDE Framework 6.6 also brings several visual improvements. One of these is a new Breeze icon for Apple Wallet Bundle files. Breeze is KDE's default icon team, known for its modern and minimalist design. The new icons ensures that even more file types have a consistent and attractive icons, keeping the overall look and feel of the desktop cohesive. Another important update is related to screen scaling. Many users have high-resolution displays, sometimes called high DPI screens, which can cause issues with certain desktop elements appearing too small or blurry. KDE Framework 6.6 .6 includes support for Qt 6.8, a development tool that helps applications look good on all types of screens especially when scaling is involved. This means users with high resolution screens will see sharper icons and fewer visual glitches. In addition to visual changes, KDE Framework 6.6 also improves how menus and drag and drop action works. For example, when you right click on something to open a menu, the options you'll see will now be more relevant to the task at hand. The streamlining makes navigation through KDE application faster and more intuitive. Another small but welcome improvement is the way text and icons behave when you drag them from a web browser onto the desktop or into the Dolphin file manager. In previous versions, dragging files could sometimes feel clunky or unclear, but now it's smoother and more user-friendly. Every software release includes bug fixes and KDE Framework 6.6 is no exception. 
Several issues from previous versions have been addressed in this update, making the KD experience even more reliable. For instance, there was a problem where the small font settings in the fonts page of system settings wasn't working as expected. Some users also noticed that symbolic icons in Plasma panel were colored incorrectly when using a mix of light and dark global themes. Both of these issues have been fixed in KDE Frame on 6.6, improving the appearance and usability of the desktop. Another significant fix addresses a bug that affected the restore functionality for trashed files. In the previous version, if you moved files to the trash using an app that relied on absolute file paths, you may have run into issues trying to restore them. This has now been resolved, so restoring files from the trash should work more consistently. A problem that caused the touchpad page in the system settings to break after accessing another page first has been fixed. The system settings app had an issue where it would break if you opened a get new whatever window, like get new wallpapers or get new icons, and then closed the main system settings window. This is no longer a problem. Hey guys, it's me from the future. Just a quick update. From my own testing, the issue where the system settings app crashes if you open a get new whatever window and then close the main system settings window, it's still present in KDE Framework 6.6. Hopefully it will get fixed soon. Ok, back to the video. KDE Connect, a popular tool for linking your Linux desktop with your smartphone, had a bug that prevented users from sharing files with their devices. KDE Framework 6.6 includes a workaround that fixes this issue. All around, KDE Framework 6.6 may not be a revolutionary release, but it brings several meaningful improvements that enhance the overall user experience. With better thumbnail support, visual tweaks and important bug fixes, this update makes KDE Plasma even more competitive with other desktop environments like GNOME and XFCE. If you're using KDE Plasma or KDE applications, it's a good idea to keep an eye on your Linux distribution software repository for the KDE Framework 6.6 update. Once available, updating your system will ensure you have the latest future and fixes, making your desktop experience smoother and more enjoyable. Whether you're a seasoned KDE user or someone just getting started with Linux, KDE Framework 6.6 offers a host of improvements that make everyday tasks simpler and more visually appealing. And as always, if you find this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.